Have you ever wanted to be able to recognize different tank models without much trouble? Well, look no further, because you're in the right place. In this video we will be taking a look at different Soviet and later Russian T-72 models. The export models and the ones developed by other countries will not be covered in this video, simply because it would be way too long, and we'll cover them in a separate video. So let's start. First official variant of T-72 was the T-72 Ural. You will mostly see this tank having no additional side protection, although you may come across it having the side flip-out panels. This is because the additional side protection is often removed during the training. The first variant had the infrared searchlight on the left side of the gun, which is the only one that did, but it was fairly soon placed to the right of the gun on the T-72 Ural 1, and so it was placed on the right on all variants to come after, until thermal imagery started to be used. Another distinctive feature about the 72 Euro is rather small and somewhat throughout the turret. This got changed on T-72 Euro 1, that received thicker armor. You can also recognize it by the fact it has coincidental rangefinder. But some T-72 Euro 1 tanks received laser rangefinder later on. To sum it up, you will mostly recognize T-72 Ural by the fact it has no smoke discharges with clean, small round turret on the first one, infrared searchlight being to the left of the gun on the first production model, and side plates or no side protection. But some received rubber side skirts later on. T-64 type tanks all have infrared searchlight to the left of the gun. Don't mistake them for T-72 Ural. Easiest way to make sure that it is actually a T-72 tank is by the turret-mounted heavy machine gun. On majority of T-64 variants, the heavy machine gun is remotely operated, so it is facing the way the commander's sight is, so in pictures most of the time it is facing forward. On T-72, heavy machine gun is manually operated and is facing the other way from the commander's sight, which means it would be facing the back in most pictures. If the tank has no heavy machine gun installed, then the fording tube would be the best thing to look at since the one on T-64 has a specific shape. I will talk more on how to recognize T-64 from T-72 tanks when I do this kind of a video on T-64. Next major variant is T-72A. The tank now got a bigger turret. You will also see the tank with 5 smoke discharges on one side and 7 on the other side of the turret. But if there are no discharges, the best way to recognize T-72A is by the distinctive cut-like shape in the front turret armor. It is very usual for this tank to have rubber side skirts, so that is just in case you have some doubts. The later T-72A models had the forging tube moved from the left side of the turret to the rear. So, bigger turret, 12 smoke discharges or a cut in the turret means it's a T-72A tank. Next major variant is the T-72B tank. Now, the best way to recognize this tank is by the fact it has Contact 1 explosive reactive armor. Contact 1 blocks are small and placed all over the tank. But keep in mind that there is a T-72 variant, T-72AV, which is a T-72A tank that also has Contact 1 explosive reactive armor. Best way to distinguish them from one another is by the fact that T-72AV has a Contact 1 on the turret placed to form like a triangular shape while on T-72B, the EREA is placed flat onto the turret. This also poses a problem since the T-80BV also has the contact one placed on the turret in a triangular shape. But there are some distinctive features on the T-80BV, like the heavy machine gun set on a mount facing forward, as well as a large fording tube on the back of the turret. It also never has the EREA covering the entire side, just the top row. So, if the tank has EREA flat under the turret, then it's a T-72B. It is also worth noting that there is a T-72B1 tank, which has same fire control system as T-72A, which means it cannot fire ATGMs. The only way to recognize if it's standard T-72B is to look at the night sight. The one of T-72B is slightly larger and has a drive for opening the cover from the inside of the tank. If the tank has the roof heavy machine gun facing backwards and doesn't have a large fording barrel, at the back of the turret and EREA is placed in a triangle fashion, then it's a T-72 AV tank. Don't forget that T-64 tanks have infrared searchlights on the left of the gun, just in case you have some doubts. Next up is the T-72B, model 1989. This one is pretty easy to identify. 
it has contact 5 explosive reactive armor. This can be seen by the fact that EVA blocks are way larger. It is also important to note that this tank has the infrared searchlight. You will understand why I'm pointing it out in just a minute. So, the contact 5 and infrared searchlight is a T-72B model 1989. You can also find the T-72B-A tank. This modernization is applied to both Contact 1 and Contact 5 models, so it either looks like T-72B or T-72B-89. But one distinctive feature is the wind sensor added to the back of the turret. So if it has Contact 1 or Contact 5, together with infrared searchlight and the wind sensor, it's a T-72B-A tank. Now, the most famous modern variant, the T-72B-3, this tank looks very similar to T-72B model 1989, but remember how I said to keep in mind that 1989 model has infrared searchlight? Well, that is because T-72B3 has a thermal imaging system, so it doesn't need the searchlight, and therefore has additional EVA block where the infrared searchlight used to be. You can also recognize it by the fact it also has this modern wind sensor. And at the end, if you just aren't sure, you can take a closer look at the big box on the turret. The 72B3 has the thermal sight, so the box is bigger. So, no infrared searchlight, contact 5 EVA, and a bigger box is a T72B3 tank. And the last one is the T72B3 model 2016. This tank is pretty different than the previous variants. Now it has entire side skirt of EVA panels, as well as cage armor. The turret also has the big explosive reactive armor blocks on the side for extra protection. This means EVA side skirts, cage armor and big EVA on the turret side is the T-72B3 model 2016. You will also often see it like this. And that would be all. I will try to cover as many tanks as I can with this kind of videos in the future, where I talk about major variants, but let me know if you'd like to see one where I cover all variants and their differences. If you like my channel you can always support me on Patreon, or you can join my Discord server if you have some questions or just want to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.